Oklahoma. Talk about you know, they've probably got the best player in the country, and they'd be they'd be really good if they didn't have them. Uh, they're they've got experience. They've got they've got guys who played in this league and made big plays in this league, and he just I mean, he's. He's the best I've seen since Jason Kidd. Can't tell on TV, but it looks like nothing really bothers him. It looks like TCU to try to get physical with him and it really bothered that much. We don't get physical with anybody, so that won't affect us. <laughs> Is one of your questions going in whether or not your press can get the ball out of his hands, at, you know, even if it's momentarily? Or? I think, I think Jamie Dixon had the best solution. He just said, you know, if, if he gets his average, fine, but you can't give him 10 assists. you got to cut his assists in half. And, and I, I think there's there's some merit to that. Obviously, they played him very well. Um, and he still got his. Right. And, but he, he wasn't able to facilitate as much as what he normally does. Where does Javon fit into the overall defense with him? I mean, do you do you turn him loose on him, or do you do you have to get him help? Or well, I mean, obviously he needs help. I mean, that's that's a given with everybody. But you know, when when JC's right, he's he's very valuable to us at both ends, and. You know, you don't want to don't want to wear him out to where at the end of the game he can't he can't make plays. So he's not going to be the only one to guard him. He'll guard him, but he's going to be the only one. His wrist. He's fine. Yeah. He's fine. Do you give him some time off, or can you even do that with a guy like him? We had we had a day off, a travel day off, so. You've seen other teams try to push him defensively, yelling and make him work defensively, or is that even what you've seen? That's easier said than done because they have two of the best rim protectors probably in the country. So, and he's he's really, really good off the ball. I mean, he's, he's way better off the ball than he is on the ball. But... He, you know, they, they, he get a, gets away with not being great on the ball because you got those guys back there protecting the rim. But he's, he makes plays off the ball that are sensational. You know, he just, he, he's got such a great feel for the game. And, and when somebody throws a, you know, kind of a, a pass with too much air under it, he'll, he'll make a play on it. He, he makes plays. He he made some plays that broke the Oklahoma State game open on with defense. It wasn't offense. It was with defense because he ran through balls and got them easy baskets and kind of got them going again. You concerned about guys gang guarding him and then leaving guys open, like lapping them open? And I'd be happy if we gang guarded you. I mean, we. <laughs> that's not that's not one of our more positive traits. So I don't know. I'm not worried about that at all. The team that, that passes it and shoots it as well as they do, are you more hesitant to go to like a 1-3-1 one, one look in this game or just kind of let that play out and get a feel for it? 1-3-1 one, one thing's just kind of a feel. You know, it's, it's, it's a, we're not going to play it very long ever. Uh, but we'll, we'll play it just to kind of change tempo a little bit. It, that's all it is, is a, is a tempo changer, and then maybe down the stretch, it takes people a little longer to get a shot off. It's not they don't get a good shot off, but it, it burns clock, and we use it a lot just to burn clock. Is it a concern or a transition game, getting quick threes, when you beat the press, passing down the floor? Well, they're going to shoot it. I mean, they, they uh, but they're going to shoot it off a miss, too. Long misses are wide open threes for them.